Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel Minds at Work. I'm Meher and today I'll give the book review of The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Some of you must be knowing that I posted a video a few days ago announcing that I'll do a collaboration with my friend Livleen who has amazing memories on Instagram. If you don't know, let me tell you about it once more. So, I'm giving the book review of this book on YouTube today and she'll give it on Instagram. So after this video make sure that you click the link in the description and read her review as well. Before we start make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel below. Before we start talking about the book let's talk about the author first. The author Kelly Barnhill wrote this book in 2016 and it won her the Newbery Medal in 2017. The synopsis of this book is basically about this little girl called Luna who is born in the town of Protectorate. This town offers or sacrifices a baby every year to the witch who lives in the wood. Woods. They think that if they don't do that the witch would put a curse on them but that's actually not the case. The witch who lives in the woods is actually very kind. Her name is Zan and she lives with a tiny dragon called Fryan and a kind monster called Gluck. Zan is a kind witch. She nurtures the kids, feeds them starlight and gives them to the other side of the woods where people are actually really loving and they take in all the kids that the witch provides. But this time Luna is accidentally fed uh, fed moonlight instead of starlight and that gives her extraordinary magic powers zan puts a spell on luna to control them and she and she is successful but she puts a spell that though that the powers will be limited only till luna's 13th birthday and when her birthday comes oh my god i promise i won't spoil what happens after this because this is just a summary of like the beginning of the story and if you really want to know what happens later make sure that you read the book as the story goes on there are more characters introduced and it gets really interesting and exciting one of the best parts according to me about the whole book is the writing it actually shows people of color in a positive light which i think is a very important aspect of children's books but i also believe that uh, adults would really enjoy it too sometimes the writing is really poetic and beautiful and i would like to read the last paragraph in the book which is actually really beautiful she belongs to us but one day her magic will fade and she will wander back into the bog and we won't have a witch anymore only stories perhaps she will find the beast or become the beast or become the bog or become a poem or become the world they all are the same you know i give this book 4.5 stars and recommend it to readers starting from the age of 10 lastly if you enjoyed this book review make sure to give it a thumbs up and also read livelings review on instagram link is in the description below in the end make sure you like this video comment on below subscribe to my channel minds at work and till next time we meet to the